Hi everyone, Dave Olson here from Lionel Engineering. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to program a lash-up between two legacy engines in the Cab 2 remote. So here with me I have the latest Santa Fe 3222 Mikado painted in black and I also have the S2 from our tin plate set and I want to show that these engines can be lashed up in legacy very easily. So here on the Cab 2 remote you're going to press the TR button. That stands for train in this instance. So I'm just going to pick uh, train number two. So you hit the two button and then you press info. And this will take you to the main screen of the train too. And you press the center button to do the build. So then the first engine you want to add is your lead engine. In my case it's going to be the hybrid which I have already programmed as engine number 32. So you enter in the number and then you press the center button again for add. Now the second locomotive is going to be the S2 electric. So again you enter in the number that that uh, locomotive is already programmed as. In this instance it's programmed as number 45. How you do your lash up um, depends on if you want the rear engine facing forward or facing reverse. So if you have the rear engine facing backwards, all you have to do is press the DIR button on the left side of the remote and that changes the direction of the engine. So that will face the engine backwards so that when you run the train in the lash up, it will run uh, that, that locomotive in reverse as it is going forward so that the whole train will run properly. In this case, I have it facing forward, so I'm just going to leave the engine facing the forward direction. So when you have both engines, or if you have more than two engines entered in, you press the set button on the right hand side of the remote. It will take a couple seconds to program the two engines. And then it'll say ready to run and it'll go back to the home screen. And here you'll see that you are ready to go and you can start driving the engine by basically rotating the uh, throttle knob, play your sounds, and everything else you can do with a regular legacy engine just in a lash up. Another feature I want to show you with lash ups is that you can modify the sounds that come out of each engine in the lash up. So let's go back in and here to train number two. So you press train two and press the info button once again. And then go back into build. Now here on the keypad, you'll see that there's a few icons on the bottom of the touchpad. The one on the bottom right is the microphone, which is for the announcements. So if you press that button while you're on the lead unit, it will turn off the crew talk or tower com that comes out of the lead unit. So if you want the crew talk or tower com to come out of the second unit in the train, you'll scroll over to the second unit of the train and press that button again. And now all talking will come out of the second locomotive instead of the first. Now, the way we have it built in Legacy is that the crew talk and tower com can only come out of one engine that's in a lash up. So say you have four engines in a single lash up, you can only have the crew talk come from one of those four locomotives. Now, what's different is that for the locomotive sounds in terms of the horn, whistle, or bell, you can have that come out of multiple units. So while I'm still here on the S2 locomotive, you'll see the button in the center on the bottom. Now that is for the train sounds, such as the horn, the whistle, and the bell. And I can go back over to the lead engine unit, and you can see that those sounds are already enabled. So now if you save this setting as is, the horn and the whistle and the bell will play on both locomotives and the crew talk will play out of the S2. So let's set that just so we can demonstrate. And again, the remote takes you back to the home screen. Now when I play the horn button, You can hear that the sounds came out of both units. Same with the bell. And when you do the crew talk, 
The way we have it configured now is that the crude talk will come out of the second unit, the uh, electric S2, instead of the, the lead unit. Okay, so this showed the basics of how to do a legacy lash-up using the cab to remote. Thank you.